Hey everyone, ever wondered how to get your Python web app online? In this video, we will deploy a simple Flask application with this, a basic page directly into Microsoft Azure Web App Services. It's a quick way to go to your project hosted. First, we need to place our host, our app. So, we're gonna get into Azure portal. And you can see that we are gonna search web app and uh, we are gonna put a simple instant detail. And obviously, we're going to select Python 3.13 and uh, by selecting the default region and the plan which we can select we can, and also the Python libraries, we can move ahead. And of course, uh, once you have reviewed your settings and uh, it's been, once it is created, we can uh, see that the next step. So before that, we're just going to create our uh, we are going to point our into a github as well so that we can point our codes into a central repository in this case github so we can look now look in the code which is uh, hosted in the github for that let's have a uh, let's complete this task uh, while actually setting that up let's take a super quick look at our codes so we use Flask uh, to create our BAP application instances and the decorator point to tells that the Flask to run index function point to def index when visits some someone visits this home page. The index function simply returns the large string quickly uh, so that you will be seeing that in uh, a header and the pointers etc uh, over here. So basically, a code which is embedding the YouTube video iframe, including some test uh, images, everything is over here. And that's a call. Flash receives a request, runs our function, and sends the HTML back. And uh, in our uh, directory, we are expecting two things. One is app.py, and of course, and one is requirement.txt. As long as there are two files over there, we can move to our... Uh, the app. So, back in Azure, once the Azure is created, let's go to the its page. We need to configure it and upload our page. So, let's see that um, using our um, app dot uh, um, settings and configurations under the as you might see that uh, once you have uploaded our app dot py, you can do this various methods like connecting a, uh, like uh, as I mentioned a Git repo and uploading step visuals as I mentioned. After uploading the code uh, using the startup command, I shall restart your web app and finally go back to your web app overview page, click on its URL and uh, there it is. Your simple Flask application is live and running on Azure. You have successfully deployed your first Python web app. From here you can expand your projects and deploy updates. Thanks for watching. Have fun with your project.